four pieces. I left a tab on each of the parts to keep the part in place. I'm going to clamp them down and then machine off those tabs individually. But yeah, here's the four parts. What we have here is all of our parts laid out for the BNC axis and we're finally about to put it all together. We're going to assemble it and see how she works. First thing we're going to do Screw in our roller bearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all six fasteners in. That's a beaut. That she sure is a beaut. Inside that part. So that on this end, we can fasten it. Fastener number one. Fastener number two. And six. Power edge bolt. assembly so far. Alright, so here it is. This is the B and C axis that I designed for my CNC machine. That's going to give us a fourth and fifth axis capability on the three axis that you see back there. I designed it myself. It's made of uh, 6061 aluminum. I also machined the parts myself. Making the parts was fun and it was a great learning exercise and learning experience to make aluminum parts for the first time. Right now I have it hooked up to two stepper drivers and an Arduino. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a simultaneous pattern on it so that you guys can see it in motion and in action to see what it does. Is there anything else I can tell you about this? Some of the hardware, like the belt and pulleys I just bought on eBay. And then the, the cross roller bearings, mine are THK used bearings. Uh, I got them for 165 shipped on eBay and they're not that big either. They're probably four inches in diameter, and, uh, but they work 
perfectly fine for what we're using it for. If you wanted to buy these brand new on eBay, you're probably looking at like $300. $300 varying compared to the potential you get from the upgrade that you're going to make. It's, 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 what is that word? It's, uh, what is that? Uh, it's, uh, it's dis indispensable. It's dispensable. It's insignificant. Okay. So, uh, let me, let me set up my computer. I'm going to run the Arduino and we'll see how she twerks. Let's do it. Ta-da! Plugging it in. Showtime, boys. Ain't it perfect? Ain't she beautiful? So this part here, this plate on the inside that rotates, uh, the spindle mount is going to mount to these four fasteners. It's going to allow us like 200 degrees of rotation, which is really all we need for this C-axis. And then the B-axis rotates fully all the way around, and there's no clearance issues with that. So we'll get a 360 degree rotation on that. All right, so that's the BNC axis project. We still got a lot to do with altering our machine, but we're gonna get there in the next episode and we're gonna mount this onto the CNC machine and hopefully we can run our first test cut with simultaneous five axis machining. Here it is is doing its thing, the Arduino is working it, and we can see it twerking. And I'll see you guys next time in the next project. See you guys later. Peace out, babies.